This is Lomochrome Purple, and you can tell it's Lomochrome Purple because the negatives look like thin slices of pickles. Uh, when you compare that to, you know, normal C41 film, like, spot the difference. So, if for someone who hasn't shot Lomochrome Purple before, the hallmarks of this film is that it shifts the colors around. Uh, so the greens become purple, the blues become greens and some funny stuff happens with the reds. It's a really cool film. It gives you kind of a surreal look to your image. It's definitely not an everyday film. There are use cases for it, and they're more far and few between than, you know, say, your normal C41 films. So I thought to myself, I have a few rolls and I'm not gonna shoot them normally. Like, what can I do? Let's cross-process it. So one thing about cross-processing C41 films in E6 is that you have to compensate two stops somewhere along the line. Either you could overexpose by two stops in the camera and then develop normally, or you could shoot at box speed and then get your film pushed two stops. If you look, these are actually positives. You might have to kind of look at it funny because it has this thick teal tint to it. And, and there is color here too. Uh, you see some kind of red pink colors in the, in the trees, but it really does get lost in this teal wash. Unlike your standard, you know, slide film where the colors are vibrant and they pop. So you're not going to use this for projecting. That's obvious. If you look at it, it's subjectively bad. When I saw it develop for the first time, I was kind of disappointed. I wasn't really sure what to expect. There doesn't really seem to be a whole lot of redeeming qualities to this film, but this is what I got. I looked at it and I thought, well, what can I do to fix it? And so after I got scanned in, I took it into Photoshop and real quick and dirty levels, just, just eye drops to the shadows, midtones, and highlights. The colors kind of came back, but so it lost a lot of the purples. And uh, if you look at some of the foliage, it actually got some of the greens back. Um, this one shot is probably the only one that looks kind of normal, Where all, whereas all the other ones, it looks like the sky's on fire and the trees kind of turn red, especially with the highlights. I unfortunately shot all this stuff in the woods, so I don't really have any clear-cut examples of what it looks like outside of this setting, but it is interesting enough where when I look at it, I definitely think that there could be some use case for it. I have no idea what that is, but it's something that I will probably look into as I still have a few rolls of this stuff and I don't really want to shoot it normally. So, you know. At the end of the day, do I recommend doing something like this? Uh, no, but it's there.